Welcome to my second video. Um, today is 43 degrees in Melbourne. I can't do much. It's windy and really, really hot. Even in the shade, it's hot. Okay, I put the car on four ramps. I had four ramps, and I'll put it on the ramps. It's heaps better than jack it up and put it on the stand every day or every time I want to do something underneath. And I've got heaps of little space. Okay, and um, this is the dog leg I built. This is reproduction. So this is for the later job. And and I bought these extractors, which I'm going to put on. I put I already put one in. So this is the second one. Um, not a bad one. So, yeah, so that's the one. I already put one in. They're really good condition, not that rusty. Um, I forgot to tell you the cross member for gearbox was missing too, so I paid something like 40 bucks for this one. I didn't change the engine mount because it was good but I bought a new one I got one brand new one in the garage uh, I'll put it on when, when I want to do proper restore I took the grill off too I don't want to live in in front of the sun every day it's got a bit of chip and crack uh, I also took the uh, wipers off old fuel tank so you just cut the top off and you put that in and this is the other side you put four screw and bolts okay so that's a fuel tank outside is not that much rust and the good thing is there's no rust inside too but it's very dirty can see like how dirty it is and look at this the filter is just oh. so I need to clean it out and then put it back in the car so I'll put this filter pollution very good price but if you see He locked it. You get rid of that and it locked it. So I'm gonna open this and then put the pushing in. I took the cap out. So it's free now from here. Oh can't see. Okay, so I'm gonna so you wanna put the pollution in. Can you hold it? Yeah, just hold it. Okay. Perfect. I've got a cap for this, but I'm not going to use that. I've got the other cap. This is my hips. Beautiful. That's for GXL. But anyway. So we just have to put that cap back on and see how we go. So I put the filler back in, all good. I didn't, I didn't tighten really really hard. It's got a bit of crack here, that's that's fixable, it's easy to fix. But beautiful. So I'll put the portion in. I'll put the tank in. Fuel tank. So the still the bolts are missing. I bought my I bought a new multimeter from eBay. Um, let's see what's inside. So 
Up a ten fish of age. Oh. This one seems like a really cheap stuff. Oh uh, mind, I'm not gonna use that every day. what it is Oops. Okay, I've got two batteries but I usually like rechargeable ones so I didn't bought an expensive one this is like 50 bucks from eBay I like it. what I like about this is just um, so everything's digital. You don't have to turn anything, and it's got a temperature gauge as well. Okay, uh, well, this is end of my second video. Um, it was 43 degrees in Melbourne today. Now it's raining like crazy, which is good. We need rain. Uh, I'll try to make my third video as soon as possible um, um, buy the missing parts and uh, um, after I think next after we condition my starter motor let's see how we go and um, the Christmas already passed but uh, I, I wish you all the best for 2020 happy new year I hope 2020 will be a wonderful year for you guys for you and all family